Let's start working on question 2.1 here. So we have a firm that produces a certain quantity of paint at this cost in a fully competitive market. Now the firm sells the paint at the price of 10 per liter. There are emissions uh, because of the components of the paint and we have that function as double equals one over four Q and we have damage from those em emissions to the environment, which is a function of W. Now, what do we have in part A? We want to show on a graph the marginal private benefit, the marginal private cost and the marginal external damages. Okay, so what is going to be all, our marginal benefit here? Well, that's how much money we make from selling our good, meaning that we will have the price of 10. That is, that is the marginal private benefit per unit. So marginal private benefit. Now, we also want to know the marginal private cost. Well, let's calculate the marginal private cost. That's going to be the derivative of the total cost function. So let's do it over here. The marginal cost is the derivative of the cost function with respect to quantity. Now, what's that going to be? Well, we have the cost function over here. 10 derivative with respect to quantity is just zero. Q squared derivative with respect to quantity, that's going to be equal to 2Q. So we have one more data, the marginal cost. What we also want now is the marginal damage. Now, what is the marginal damage? The marginal damage is the derivative of the total damage with respect to quantity. The same analogy as the marginal cost. But we have the damage function over here, which depends on W, whereas W is a function of Q. So what we're going to do, we're going to write the damage as a function of the quantity by substituting over here. And from here, we will calculate our marginal damage. So the, let's do it step by step. We will have the damage equals to four times W, which is the same as one over four Q. So one over four Q and W is to the power of two. So this expression to the power of two. What's that going to be? Let's see, the damage will be equal to four times one over four to the power of two. That's one over 16 multiplied with Q to the power of two. That's Q squared. What's four times one over 16? Well, four and 16 cancel out. So we're left with one over four multiplied with Q squared. That's the damage function. What we're going to do now, we're going to differentiate this damage function. We're differentiating it with respect to the quantity. So we have one over four times Q squared derivative. We keep the constant one over Q, uh, sorry, one over four. And what's Q squared derivative with respect to Q? That's just going to be two Q. So one over four times two Q. We cancel out some stuff, four and two go away. So we're left with one over two times the quantity. Now with this in mind, we have to plot everything on a graph. So let's do that. Let's draw the graph over here below. So we have, we have the price or better said we're going to express this let's say in dollars and the quantity on this axis let's start with the marginal benefit because that's the easiest the, the marginal benefit is equal to the price as we said so let's fix the price at ten dollars that's going to be our marginal private benefit line marginal private benefit now what's going to be our marginal cost well we said two times the quantity meaning we will have an upward slope of two so that's going to be relatively relatively steep let's do it something like something like that that would be our marginal cost function marginal cost and what we also want is the marginal damage function uh, the marginal damage is equal to one over two times the quantity so the slope is positive one over two meaning it has to be more flat than the marginal cost function so it will look something like this this will be our marginal damage that's how it looks on a graph now we leave it like that for now. In the next video, we're going to compare the efficiency under uh, optimal, sorry, under social production and private production.